This is the fifth video dedicated to Bessie shuffle diagrams. So as a reminder, a shuffle S is said to be a Bessie shuffle if and only if S preserves or inverts Bessie sequences. Recall the Bessie sequences of order 8 are 1001-0110 and its inversion 0110-1001. Also recall that the 8 digits 1 through 8 are color coded as follows. The digits 1, 4, 6, 7 are color coded black and the digits 2, 3, 5, 8 are color coded red. We do this to help us keep track of the movement of these two sets of position values for the cards. If the cards in positions 1, 4, 6, 7 stay in those positions after performing a shuffle, this means that the cards in positions 2, 3, 5, 8 will stay within those position values. That being the case, we're looking at this situation here. If it happens that the cards originally in positions 1, 4, 6, 7 get moved to positions 2, 3, 5, 8 and vice versa, then we say an inversion has occurred and we represent it in this way using the names of our sets A and A complement. Relating all of this to Bessie sequences expressed using zeros and ones, we find that there are only two possibilities. Either our ones will be in positions 1, 4, 6, 7 with the zeros in positions 2, 3, 5, 8 or, in the case of the inversion of this sequence, we get the Bessie sequence in which the zeros are now in positions 1, 4, 6, 7, and the ones are in positions 2, 3, 5, 8, where all of this is summarized here below. Picking up where we left off in the fourth video in this series devoted to Bessie shuffle diagrams, we're going to look at the 17th shuffle as listed on the top left side of the screen. It's called a 50% coding. And here is the cycle permutation representation of that shuffle. So let's go ahead and illustrate a 50% coding. So as always, we'll begin with the order packet 1 through 8 to help us keep track of the movement of the cards. So a 50% coding is where we simply count out half the cards, one, two, three, four, and drop the rest on top. We call that a 50% coding of the cards. By the way, the word coat, C-O-A-T, stands for count out and transfer. It's an acronym. So here is the new ordering of the cards. We can now write the Cauchy two-line notation for our permutation. It will be as follows. The top row consisting of 1 through 8 and our new ordering making up the bottom row. So we see that we have 5, 6, 7, 8, 4, 3, 2, 1. Cauchy's two-line notation can now be written in one-line notation, also called cycle notation. Recall how this works is we see that 1 goes to 5, so there's an arrow from 1 to 5. 5 over here goes to 4. 4 goes to 8. And then 8 goes to 1, so it wraps around, completing a 4 cycle. 1, 5, 4, 8. Looking at what happens to the value 2, we see that 2 goes to 6. 6 goes to 3. And 3 goes to 7. And finally, 7 goes to 2, so it wraps back around, resulting in a second 4 cycle. This accounts for all 8 digits. If we color code this cycle notation of our permutation, we obtain the following. Black 1 goes to red 5, which goes to black 4, which goes to red 8, which wraps around and goes to black 1. 
Red 2 goes to black 5, which goes to red 3, which goes to black 7, which wraps around and goes to red 2. So we see here that each value gets sent to a value of the opposite color. When that happens, inversion has occurred. So again, this means that the cards that originally began in positions 1, 4, 6, 7 have now moved to positions 2, 3, 5, 8 in some assignment. In fact, the assignment is given by our cycle description of the permutation. If we now look at the graph, which is found at the top left of your screen, we can see how the Bessie Shuffle diagram was constructed. We know that 1 goes to 5, which goes to 4, which goes to 8, which cycles around to 1. So if we look at 1, 1 goes to 5, so it goes down here. 5 goes to 4, straight across. 4 goes up to 8. 8 goes over to 1, and that completes that cycle. So that's our first 4 cycle. We also say that the values 1, 4, 5, 8 are members of the same orbit. If we take a look at 2, 2 up here goes to 6, which goes to 3, which goes to 7, which wraps around and goes to 2. So if we start at 2, there will be an arrow from 2 to 6, an arrow from 6 to 3, an arrow from 3 to 7, and then an arrow from 7 back to 2. That completes that second 4 cycle. And those four values constitute a second orbit. And as indicated up here, inversion has indeed occurred. So what does that mean relative to a Bessie sequence involving the digits 0 and 1? Well, what it means then is if we perform a 50% coding of this packet, the zeros and ones will switch places. So we'll get the inversion. So why don't we quickly just show that. So 1, 2, 3, 4. That's 50% of the cards. Drop the rest on top. Did we get an inversion of the original sequence? We did indeed. It now begins with 0, then 110, followed by 1, 0, 0, 1. 